Kamusta? Today I will show you how to remove, clean, and reinstall the fuel injectors on a Toyota Wigo. Remove the negative battery connector using a 10mm deep socket and a wrench, then take out the engine cover. Pull out the ignition coil wiring harnesses. Let's do the same with the ventilation hoses. We're detaching the air filter box as well. Put them aside for now. Disengage several wiring connectors and clamps to get to the fuel injectors. We'll be using these clamps again so we don't want to destroy them. There are more clips and wires that we need to take care of. Every fastener has two side clips that we must pry out using a flathead screwdriver. We're disconnecting the mass absolute pressure sensor from the intake manifold. Use a 10mm socket to loosen the bolt. Get the wires out of the way. Behind this metal bracket is a 10mm bolt. In order for you not to hit the back of the intake manifold, use a 3/8 inch drive ratchet wrench a 1 4th inch drive socket adapter and a 10 millimeter shallow socket 1 4th inch drive as well. Disconnect the three injector electrical connectors by pressing and pulling the wiring harnesses. Remove this specialized fuel rail clamp from the tube sub-assembly. I suggest that you wear surgical gloves, a face mask, and a face shield for this part. Also, put a catch pan under the tube sub-assembly. Press this yellow release clip, then pull it out from the rail. Use some rags, then uh, put it behind the battery. I'm using a T-type 10mm wrench to remove two fuel rail bolts and one bolt for the metal bracket. Turn the tool counterclockwise to loosen them. Clean this part so we can prevent dirt from getting inside our engine. Give both sides of the fuel rail a tug to partly detach the fuel injectors. Take out the metal bracket by sliding it to the left. Just avoid hitting the fuel injector near it. Let's now remove the hose of the positive crankcase ventilation valve to make room for the fuel rail and injectors. Meet my 5-year-old fuel injectors. Empty the remaining fuel from this delivery rail. As you can see, the spray tip on these things needs some preventive maintenance service. 
Otherwise, we'll start getting engine misfiring, fuel leaks, rough idling, among other things. Pull out three injector holders with part number 23295-BZ010. Pull the three injectors out of the fuel delivery pipe as well. Let's clean the outside part of the fuel injector valves. I bought this fuel injector cleaning kit from the online store that we all hate and love. It came with two nozzles with two different size openings. The one with a larger hole is what we need. The kit also came with two electrical plugs with two different sizes for various fuel injector connectors. Use this bigger one instead. Insert the top portion of the fuel injector into the plastic nozzle nice and tight. Our fuel injector cleaner will pass through this hole and the pressure that will come out of it will unclog our fuel injector spray tip. Pull the nozzle out of our fuel injector spray cleaner. We'll use our Wigos battery as a power source for this apparatus. This is the negative and positive terminals. Connect the kit's black electrical clamp to the negative post of our battery. Place the plastic jet nozzle on our aerosol can, then press down on the nozzle and let this red or positive connector touch the battery terminal. Do this for 5 to 6 times with a 1 to 2 second interval for each spray. I will put new O-rings on the upper portion of my fuel injectors, although I think I can still use my 5-year-old stock ones. Let's lubricate the new ones using a silicone spray. Let's clean the casing this time using a clean rag. Reinstall the injectors to the fuel delivery pipe like so. Let's remove this tissue paper. I tried to put the fuel rail in the same way it came out, but I had a hard time aligning the fuel injector tips on the engine's holes. So I decided to remove the throttle body instead 
including its wiring harness to get more leverage. I made a video on how to remove the throttle body. The link is on the description box. Reconnect everything. Turn the on position. Do not start the engine just yet. Turning the key to the on position will put pressure on the fuel lines before we start our engine. I hope marami kayong natutunan. Please consider subscribing and supporting this channel. May God bless you. I'll see you soon.